The pursuit of cleanliness. Islam teaches us that cleanliness is half our deen. If you have visited some of the masjids out there, you would have never guessed that. Sometimes walking to the bathroom stall is like, Bleh! I'd rather not. Sometimes I'd rather hold them until I get home. I don't understand how you can miss the whole toilet, bro. I say bro because obviously someone was standing up and peeing here. You know it's sooner to sit down, which means it's recommended to sit down and pee pee. Otherwise, you may be leaving the bathroom floor in the gist. And your bad aim is leaving his mark on the toilet seat. Sometimes I think to myself, are these people really convinced that Islam is the truth? Or are they just born to this religion without anyone explaining anything to them? Because if you're intellectually convinced about Islam, then it will be seen through your actions. When I became Muslim, my actions, my behavior, and the way I carried myself changed. Things that were never important to me suddenly became vital. Before Islam, I didn't care because I didn't think there was any accountability for the actions I did. But once I learned about Islam, I understood that if you do the actions good for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there's reward for it. And of course, there's a punishment for the bad actions you do as well. So it started making me think twice before I started doing many of my actions. I guess what it really comes down to is, do you really believe this religion is the truth? I mean, we can say whatever we want on our lips, but actions speak louder than words. If you were going to visit the house of the creator of all mankind, how would you treat it? Think about that. Now, trying to be clean is not always that easy, especially at work where people are not always clean. Do you know what I'm talking about? I'm going to tell you what I'm talking about. Sometimes when I'm bored and sitting on the bathroom stall, I start thinking. I start thinking, how come the toilet paper always runs out, but the soap never runs out? Huh. You know when you're sitting in the bathroom stall and you have that gap in the bathroom stall and you see the people at the sink? Yeah, that's it. I notice a lot of people, when they think there's no one else in the bathroom, they don't wash their hands. That's nasty. Some people turn on the sink for a second and that's about it. That's not washing your hands. I guess they think it washes the guilt away. Some other people, they wash their hands before they pee. But they don't wash their hands afterwards. What's wrong with these people? Maybe they read the bathroom etiquette book backwards. And then of course there are some people who just walk out without doing anything. I mean they do number two and they just stand up and they walk out. Nasty! You're so nasty! I have to shake these people's hands at work. Shake their hands! Sometimes if you're smart you can find a way around it. Hey Ollie, how's it going? Hey, what's up man? We'll go uh, chill later. I'll see you later man. When Europe was going through the dark ages, people weren't taking showers. They were filthy. At the same time, the Muslim Ummah was at its golden ages and many Muslims were taking Islam seriously. The people were clean and they were bathing regularly. Where do you think soap and utter came from? During the time of Harun al Rashid, they were washing the streets of Baghdad with soap and water. Now that's clean! But these days, because you want to be clean, you're looked upon as being strange. As a practicing Muslim, cleanliness is very important. Once again, it's not always easy being clean. Sometimes when I'm at work, I have a water bottle with me when I go to the bathroom. So my coworkers might find this strange because they prefer to wipe their poopoo with dry toilet paper. Here's one of the funny conversations that may occur when water man meets dry toilet man on the way to the bathroom. Hey, hey Ali, why are you taking that water bottle into the bathroom? Oh, because I use water to wash myself in the bathroom. You use water to wash yourself in the bathroom? <laughs> hey Bob, Ali uses water to wash himself in the bathroom. <laughs> So do you laugh like that when your girlfriend's wiping the stains off your underwear? <laughs> no. Okay. There's a lot of different types of water cans out there. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? You don't know what I'm talking about? Okay, let's break it down for you. The bachelor bottle. This is the bachelor bottle. Which is basically a water bottle with the paper ripped off of it. I don't know why the paper's ripped off the bottle. It just is. But what I do know is if you see one of these water bottles in the bathroom, the brother's probably not married yet. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The trendy vessel. Then there's a trendy vessel. This is the fancy pantsy type of water bottle that may come in different colors. If you find one of these bottles in the bathroom, most likely in a married person's house. Don't get me wrong, the bottle looks nice, but it barely holds any water. You need like five refills just to wash yourself. The old school jug. Then there's the old school jug. This one may be confused as a water can which they use to water plants. The extreme water bottle. Finally, there's the extreme water bottle. This one, 10 people can use without a refill. If there's one of these in the bathroom, you're definitely not in a married person's house. It's a monster. Hello! <laughs> Crazy! 
You can say it's the SUV of bath and water cans. When we say Islam is a complete way of life, it really is a complete way of life. It teaches us everything we need to know about life, including the way we go to the bathroom. If cleanliness is half our deen and we're not clean, what does that say about us? At the end of the day, we have to be clean. People are looking at us as being an example. You know, being a Muslim is not just an honor, it's a responsibility. Imagine a person coming to the masjid and they want to learn about Islam. And then we tell them cleanliness is half our deen. And then they go to our bathroom and they look at our bathroom and if the bathroom is dirty, they realize we say one thing and our actions speak otherwise. Do you know what I'm saying? As Muslims, we're supposed to be examples. And we must be good examples and show Islam through our actions, inshallah. Not just our words. Because actions speak louder than words. This is Ali reminding you just in case you forgot. This is Ali reminding you just in case you forgot.